everyone, Udell Pandya here from Miss Mama Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make this elegant and simple chocolate cage. I've taken a regular cake, I've iced it with frosting. Now I'm going to show you how to go from simple to fabulous in 15 minutes. To begin, I take parchment paper and I cut it to fit around the cake. It needs to meet from end to end. On top of that, you're going to leave about two to three inches of space um, for the height of the cage that you want. The other way you can measure the parchment paper is by taking a string and wrapping it around the cake to get the length, and then measure the height plus two to three inches. I take some chocolate and I put it into the pastry bag and I melt it in the microwave. You can use milk chocolate, white chocolate, or dark chocolate. And I drop those chocolate chips into the bag and I melt it in the microwave for about 30 seconds at a time until it's nice and liquidy. Once I'm ready, I start swirling a pattern of chocolate right on top of the parchment paper. Thinking about it, I probably should have put another piece of, piece of parchment paper underneath this one for easier cleanup but I just decided to go for it and make a big old mess. It was fun. I start doing the circular pattern thicker and thinner, and I just go over and over in the desired pattern. You can go up and down, side to side. Whatever you want to do would be fine. And when I'm ready and I feel happy with how it looks, I stop and I just let it set up. After one and a half to two minutes, the chocolate is still a little wet looking, but it's not completely dry. That's exactly how we want it. We don't want it to drip off, but we don't want it to be completely dry. I take my offset spatula and I just run it underneath the parchment paper, and now I'm ready to attach it to the cake. I gently pick up the parchment paper and I slowly start to wrap it around the cake and I'm gently pressing it against the frosting until I go all the way around the cake. After I wrap the parchment paper around the entire cake, I let it sit on the counter for about five minutes. And voila, we're ready to start peeling that parchment paper away. Slowly peel it away to reveal your design. To complete the look, you could add either fresh fruit, or in this case, I've added um, chocolate truffles. How beautiful this cake turned out to be. I'm so excited to give it to my friend. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe and leave your comments below. And remember, you too can bake it and ice it or cut it and craft it. Thanks.